we shall praise your name. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And enter into his peace. Come, we gather our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Let us listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. The mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let us listen to the voice of the Lord and enter into his peace. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us listen, listen to the voice of the Lord and enter his peace. Oh that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah. As on that day at Massa in the desert, when your father put me to the test, when they tried me, they only saw my way. Let, Let us listen, listen for the voice of the Lord and, and enter into peace. his peace. For forty years I was wearied of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger, never shall they enter my rest. Let us listen to the voice the of, the of the Lord and, and enter into, into his, his peace. peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let, Let us, us listen, listen to, to the voice of the Lord, of the Lord and, enter and enter into his peace. Number three. To God with gladness sing, your rock and saviour bless. Within, Within your temple bring your songs of thankfulness. O God of might, to you we sing, enthroned as king on heaven's height. He cradles in his hands the and depths of earth. He made the sea and land. He brought the whole world to birth. O God most high, we are your sheep. On us you keep your shepherd's eye. Your heavenly Father prays, acclaim his only son. Your voice in homage raise to him who makes all one. O dove of peace, on us descend, that strife may end and joy increase. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night on the ten-string lyre and the lute with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hand I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works, how deep are your designs. The foolish man cannot know this and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive. They are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox his strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes lose in triumph on my foes. My ears hear gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like a palm tree and grow like the Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they're old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, we proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night. Proclaim the greatness of our God. Listen, O heavens, and I will speak. Let the earth hear the words on my lips. 
May my teaching fall like the rain, my speech descend like the dew, like rain drops on the young green, like sh showers falling on the grass. For I shall praise the name of the Lord, O give glory to his God of us. The rock is his perfect, and all his ways are just, a faithful God without deceit, a God who is right and just. Those whom he begot unblemished have become crooked, false, perverse. It is thus you repay the Lord. O senseless and foolish people, is he not your father who created you, he who made you, on whom you depend? Remember the days of old, consider the years that have passed. Ask your father and he will show you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High gave the nations their heritage and disposed men according to his plan in fixing the boundaries of the nations, he thought first of Israel's sons, for Israel was the Lord's possession, Jacob the one he had chosen. God found him in a wilderness and fearful desolate ways. He surrounded him, he lifted him up, he kept him as the apple of his eye. Like an eagle that watches its nest, that hovers over its young. So he spread his wings, he took him, placed him on his outstretched wings. The Lord alone was his guide, and no other God was with him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Proclaim the greatness, the greatness of our God. How great is your name, Lord, through all the earth. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens, on the lips of children and of babes. You have found praise to call your enemy, to silence the poor and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? mortal man that you care for him. Yet you made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crown him, give him power over the works of your hands. Put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beasts, birds of the air and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. How, How great, great is your name, Lord, through all the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. My tongue shall tell the tale of your justice. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When I sing to you, my lips shall rejoice. Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. 
He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, Lord guide Lord, our feet into, into the way of peace. peace. God the Father has adopted us as brothers and sisters of his only Son, and through the ages he stayed with us and kept us in his love. Let us ask him for the needs of the world. Lord, help us as we work. We pray for all who plan and build in our cities. Give them respect for every human value. Lord, help us as we work. Pour out your spirit on artists, craftsmen and musicians. May their work bring variety, joy and inspiration to our lives. Lord, help us as we work. Be with us as the cornerstone of all that we build, for we can do nothing well without your aid. Lord, help us as we work. You have created us anew in the resurrection of your Son. Give us the strength to create a new life and a new world. Lord, help us as we work. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us praise you, Lord, with voice and mind and deed, and since life itself is your gift, may all we have and ours be yours. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Good morning, everybody. The intention of the Mass is for those on the, on the November list.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I fail to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The angel showed me John the river of light, <coughs> rising from the throne of God and of the Lamb and flowing crystal clear down the middle of the city street. On either side of the river were the trees of life, which bear twelve crops of fruit in a year, one in each month, and the leaves of which are the cure for the pagans. The ban will be lifted the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in its place in the, in the city. His servants will worship him. They will see him face to face and his name will be written on their foreheads. It will never be night again and they will not need lamplight or sunlight because the Lord God will be shining on them. They will reign forever and ever. The angel said to me, all that you have written is sure and will come true. The Lord God who gives the spirit to the prophets has sent his angel to reveal to his servants what is soon to take place. Very soon now I shall be with you again. Happy are those who treasure the prophetic message of this book. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Come ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. A mighty God is the Lord, a great king above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are hymns. To him belongs the sea for he made it and the dry land shaped by his hands. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Stay awake and stand ready because you do not know the hour when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be cozened with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life, and that they will, sprung, will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come down on every living man on the face of the earth. Stay awake, praying at all times for the strength to survive, 
all that is going to happen and stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. We all succumb to the many inevitable and wearisome anxieties of life. Bills to pay, mouths to feed, trouble at work, exams to pass, deadlines to meet, illness to overcome or struggle with. Our hearts and lives can be burdened by these and other trials of daily living, which no doubt play some part in why some do indeed succumb to drunkenness and dissipation. Jesus advises us to do three things. Be careful, watch and pray. Many years later, Peter would counsel the same. Be alert and of sober mind. Tomorrow, the holy season of Advent begins when we are invited to watch and pray as we contemplate the three comings of Christ. His first coming at the incarnation, his second coming in glory at the end of time, his coming into the here and now of our lives through grace. When we lift our heads and hearts to contemplate the things above, God's gentle holy light shines upon this mystery, causing us to pray and long for Christ's return. Advent is a time for us to rejoice in the first coming, but also to groan and long for the reappearance of Christ in his return as Lord of heaven and earth. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us this Advent to welcome you into our lives. May we rejoice in your first coming, but groan and long for your second. Lord, hear us. We ask our Lady to intercede for us as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you made all things, whom you send us as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as in your dispassion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints will declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the Highest. Blessed is you, come and the name of the Lord, O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for this gift to pray by sending thy spirit upon them in the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Martha, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, would bless her Joseph, our spouse. We, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, <coughs> who may merit to request to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as the sea. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but in us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take care with the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be there.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, the Mass descended. Yes, sisters and brothers, we have come before our mother of perpetual help to praise God our Father with Mary and to thank him for the blessings he has given us through her intercession. Let us once more ask her to pray for us. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions. Let in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. That we may be faithful to prayer every day of our lives. That we may carry out faithfully the duties of our state of life that we may have courage to face up to all our difficulties, that we may quickly return to Christ should we fall into serious sin, in misunderstandings with those we love, in times of sickness in the home, in worries about financial matters, that we and our young people may find our true vocation in life. That all may respect all human life and avoid the dangers of drugs and alcohol. That those who rule our country may act wisely, justly and for the good of all. That we may see our daily work as a service to our neighbor that the economy of our nation may improve and the dignity of human labor be restored to those who feel rejected, redundant, or unemployed. That we may be toler tolerant and charitable towards those who do not share our views. That all who suffer in mind or body may be comforted and if it is your will, restored to health. That our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may have light and guidance in ruling the church. That all people may live in peace and unity. That our diseased relatives and friends may have eternal rest. For the intentions of all who are making the novena. And for our personal intentions. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we come before you to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when full of faith and trust you accepted God's call to be mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us like you to be concerned for others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. 
Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart, and may we share with your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Let us pray, Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother, ever ready to help us. May we who employ her motherly help benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. You have given your people bread from heaven, the bread which is full of all goodness. Let us pray, O God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in our lives the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The divine praise is blessed be God, Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be your Holy and Immaculate Conception. Blessed be her Glorious Assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph as spouse most chaste. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 